And you want me to throw that stick now, dear? Ha ha! Paul had his tent pitched on the middle of this last time. Me and Poppy heading up to a mountain stream tonight. I got all the luxuries, as you can see. Poppy sleeping bag. Yeah, this is going to be a nice cosy one. Hoping to get a nice fire going. I've got a lamb madras curry to do. Well, I wasn't expecting this year. Last time we were here, we were all sat in the bank and we had a fire down here. None of this was here. Oh, well, that's proper washed away. There was, um, there was concrete covering this. It's gone. We've had a lot of wind and rain. Let's see if the campsite is still there. That's around the corner. Oh, it used to be. The campsite is still here, thank goodness. It does look like it's been covered at some point. That's a good few feet of water. And all the bank is gone. I just remembered Glenn stashed some beers in these rocks somewhere. See his secret stashes all over the mountains you didn't know about, guys. Haha! -ha. Well, hey! I brought a few with me, but it's a little backup. Get my water from this little trickle. I'll show you why. Look how brown that is. I fancy drinking that. Said I was going comfort today. The old cot, you cannot beat it for comfort. I love these because they never burst. Really comfortable. If you're a skin flint like me, this will weigh about 2.2 kilos. Thermarest do one, which is closer to one kilo. But that's about 250 quid. There's a quote in a skin flint like me sitting in this hill of berg. <laughs> Here's the beers. I got way too many. I'm not going to drink all these. A couple of cool ones though. Rice one. A lot of numbers today. What's going on with that? <laughs> Extras. I'm not going to get through all these, don't worry. I think in a couple of years' time, we're going to be camping over that side. There wasn't much of a bank there before. I just realised Paul had his tent pitched on the middle of this last time. Can you see it looks like a man-made construction? So it's like a square concrete bit. But this was covered before. Water's tried washing it away and it couldn't go further than this wall. Just gone back to that shape. Clay kindling in the jacket. I can carry some logs. A 
put Poppy's seat down about 30 seconds ago. You've got to sleep on this, mind. And you want me to throw that stick now, dear? Never guess what? It's blinking raining. It's not supposed to rain till uh, the early hours. Hopefully, it doesn't kick in too much now because I want to sit by this fire for a bit. I don't want to go back to the tent yet. It's only like quarter to five or something. I'm on the uh, New England IPA now. Yeah, it's quite nice, aren't So a word about the Dartmoor ruling. I gotta burn it up. Yesterday, a wealthy landowner decided to take it to court. The people have got to uh, ask his permission before he camp on Dartmoor. Before that, it was like the only place left in England and Wales that you didn't have to ask permission. Um, is it gonna affect me? Not at all. The only thing now is going to be people who've had that privilege around the area. They just have to start doing it the same way everybody else does it, you know. Just going out, being respectful, leaving no trace. Why should anyone have a problem? The only people you're going to have a problem with is, uh, you know, fly campers. Inexperienced, they just chuck the rubbish, leave the tent. It's just about education at the end of the day, isn't it? I think that's the way it should have gone. Education instead of law. She ain't pretty, but she's a-going. Well, it's struggled, i got to say. It's not for lack of fuel. It's just it's so wet. But like I said earlier, <laughs> it's an ugly pile, obviously. But I've been chucking so much dry grass, heather on you. Another good use for this pump though. This is gonna get it region again now. It's so wet. I do not think it's possible, sir. Poppy's in her bed. She's been back in the tent for a while to be honest. Right, I'm hoping that go on top of there. It should do. Hmm. So you've got, I was gonna say a little bit, but it's a lot. The meat is nearly done. I may or may not have <laughs> spilled a little bit of sound there. That's warm.
Good morning. Uh, not a not a great sleep at all. Um, but I looked at the last video I filmed filmed last night. I think it was only like eight o'clock. So I've been in here for about twelve hours. So I probably you're not going to sleep all that, there. One thing I'm gutted about. My favourite little stove, the X boil. I lost one of the little arms of it. Cut it. So if anyone comes up to try and find that beer, <laughs> do me a favour, bring a magnet with you. I think I do start to need a new one now because um, it's just starting to get corroded. It must be all that strong mess you're putting in there. Shout out to my members when I'm thinking about it. That was a close one. 